Hi guys, my name is Will and welcome back to another Platinum video. I can't lie, over the last few weeks I've been really struggling to find a new Platinum journey to start. I've been taking a break from some longer projects and I've found myself just staring at the PSN library not being able to decide what to play. Then I had an idea. I haven't Platinumed a LEGO game for a while. I love LEGO games and I've already Platinumed a few of them before. So when I saw LEGO City Undercover was available I had a sudden urge to start stud collecting again. I was looking for a miner. Before we get into the video, if you do enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing if you're new. It helps me out a ton. So it was time to load into Le- Oh, okay, let's maybe try that again. LEGO City Undercover has a total of 15 story missions. I won't go too in depth in the story, but I will give you a brief overview. You play as police officer Chase McCain, who is looking to capture the recently escaped Rex Fury. Now during the course of the game, you go undercover. Of course you do, it's literally in the name of the game. You infiltrate loads of gangs and you try to hunt Rex down. I actually did find the story really good, it was very enjoyable, it was really engaging and we got a ton of trophies along the way. As with all LEGO games, you do earn a trophy for every story mission you complete and we picked up our first two trophies of the game for completing the first two missions. During the third mission of the game, I picked up my first miscellaneous trophy. During the mission, there's a basketball mini game. All you have to do is just time your button presses to throw the basket in the hoop. To earn the trophy, you just need to make three baskets in three attempts. It was really easy to do. At the end of the same mission, there's a miscellaneous trophy available for the bull riding mini game. This one is also really easy. You just need to make sure that you're pressing the arrows at the correct times. And once you complete it flawlessly, you'll get the trophy. Looking back, it seems like the third mission of the game was very successful for me. At the end of the level, I also got the trophy for earning LEGO City Hero. In all LEGO games, you need to achieve a certain number of studs in the level to achieve this. You do this by maxing out the bar that's at the top of your screen. We will eventually need a trophy for getting LEGO City Hero in every single level, but the game gives you a trophy for doing it for the first time. During the fourth mission, you earn some extra combat skills. One of these skills is how to pick up an enemy and throw them away. I ended up getting a pretty easy miscellaneous trophy here for throwing five enemies into each other. I then picked up the trophy Flash Car. It's annoying to explain, but when you break objects in game, they'll drop little mini bricks that go back to you. When you're in a vehicle and you drive into a breakable object, the meter in the top left will go up. As the multiplier increases, the more objects you drive into, the more bricks you get back. If you do this enough times, your car will turn into a supercar and you get five times the amount of bricks. I'm pretty sure this is how it works and I'm pretty sure that's what earned me the trophy, but honestly, it's a little bit confusing, but I think I got it right. So I just carried on grinding through the story missions. There are four hidden police shields scattered around each level. Usually you can't get all four on your initial playthrough and you need to wait and go back and replay the level again. However, for me, it took until the 11th chapter, but I did manage to get all four in a single level, picking myself up a trophy. Similar to the True City Heroes, I will need to collect all of these, especially towards 100% completion, but it was a nice trophy in the meantime. I only had a few missions left at this stage, so I just continued to play my way through the story. Are we done? Are we done? Is that it done? City Saviour, there we go. So that is the final story trophy completed. We are now quite a way into the game. 21 of the 49 trophies. Okay, so I am now done with the story, but I need to go back and do it again because I want to go back in free play. If you don't know what free play is, it's where you can go back through the story modes again, but you can select any character and you also have access to all your abilities. There should only be two trophies tied to doing this. So as you can see, I need two more of the heroes and that will pop me a trophy. And then when I collect all of the shields, I don't know how many there are. There's 
probably quite a lot to go. That will also pop me a trophy. So yeah, I'm going to spend a little bit of time doing that. I'm also going to get all the other collectibles in the missions. So there's like red bricks, characters, vehicles, loads of stuff to unlock. So yeah, as I said, I just went back through all of the levels, clearing up any of the collectibles that I had missed. As I mentioned before, I only had two city heroes left, and with the red bricks I collected, I was able to get a times 48 stud multiplier. This basically means that I get an absolute ton of studs in every single level, so I was able to grab this one really quickly. And with that trophy out the way, I just needed to wrap up my police shields. Four, and I think if we do this, we get our last shield. There we go. That took such a long time. I, I had a guide open. It took an incredibly long time. Shield collector. There we go. But there we go. That is the trophy for collecting all of these shields. That is every level's collectibles done, so I've now got all of the red bricks, all the shields, all the characters, vehicles, everything I need. I don't need to do the levels again, which is amazing by the way, because I am so sick of them. So it is now time to head into the free play, which is this world here. Uh, it's pretty big, it's a pretty big map with a huge amount of stuff to do, as you can see. We're only on 32.7%. We have got a ton of stuff left to collect. So it's time for the game's ridiculous collectible grind. There are over 900 things you need to grab in the open world. I mean, just look how insane this collectible map is. And 900 collectibles is a lot for a LEGO game, but honestly, on the face of it, it's not that bad. The main problem is how you find the collectibles. See, in pretty much every single LEGO game, when you're in the open world, it will tell you where every collectible is. It doesn't matter what game you're playing, it will tell you where every gold brick is, every character token is, anything like that. However, LEGO City Undercover decided to do something a bit creative, and I will tip my hat to that. I'll say, yeah, it's cool to try new ideas out. But what they've implemented in this game is to find collectibles, you need to use a police scanner. So basically, you press a button, you pull out the police scanner, and you just look around, and you look for the symbol for where the collectible is. Now, this is all well and good, but the problem is when you have nearly 900 collectibles in your open world, it becomes so tedious. It's the main reason why I decided just to go out and use a collectible map in the first place. I'm glad they haven't brought this back to my knowledge in any other games lately because it just isn't a very good system and I found it ridiculously frustrating. However, moving on, before I get to any of the completion trophies, we did pick up a few miscellaneous bits and pieces. The first one is the trophy for having 4 billion studs in total. This isn't very hard at all actually, you get there pretty easily. I'm also just going to throw this clip in, one of the NPCs glitched out so they were naked and I thought that was kind of weird. Some of the challenges to earn new character tokens and gold bricks require you to use your police scanner to listen in on different conversations. You need to find the actual conversation between all the criminals but there's usually three or four other conversations that are completely irrelevant. Listening in to 20 of these conversations will get you a bronze trophy. I found the book, oil. So what's it? I then got a trophy for building everything in the Lego store. And the trophy Daredevil for jumping from a helicopter into a car. Okay, so I'm going to be completely honest with you. I have gone way too long without getting a trophy on this game. And it is starting to be annoying. Uh, if you've noticed, I've got my hair cut. And it's been about two days of just going for collectibles and it's taken me a really long time to follow the guide because, you know, i got a life, i got a load of stuff to do, but this is our last red brick. So when I grab this, we should get the trophy. There we go. Cheat Chief. That's a bit of a tongue twister, that one. There we go. So collect all of the red bricks in the game. Uh, just to show you, we're currently on 61.3%. It feels like I haven't done a lot, but I have done a lot. We still have, what, 110 gold bricks to go. Got to get a load more vehicles and stuff like that. I'm very gradually working my way through the game. Still got a bit of work to do, so hopefully once we start getting towards the end of the collectible grind, we'll probably get quite a lot of trophies in a row. So there we go, that's our next trophy. Not that long after the red bricks one. Honestly, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, there are these five hidden Rex graffiti sculptures and I have destroyed all five. Honestly, didn't know there was a trophy for that. I didn't bother to check the list. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. We'll keep moving on. 
Hi guys, so it is still the same day. I've just gone down here to the police basement where you can buy all of the vehicles as well as the characters over here. That has shot me up to 85.1% completion, which is amazing. It is taking a hell of a long time, but we only have about three sections left to fully clear with like lots of stuff on them. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going for a collectible guide and there's a few bits I've missed in each area, but I can just go back and clean them up. We're getting there. Honestly, it's kind of weird because I think from the last trophy, it's been like two and a half hours of just straight grinding stuff. Hello, so like a moron, I wasn't recording. It's the next day. I just got the trophy True Tourist for visiting all 10 giant Lego city stone statues. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't know what these are. I assume it's these things up here, but honestly, I wasn't going for this. I had no idea I'd visited nine of them. You don't get prompted when that happens. So yeah, that's, that's the trophy. Honestly, it just caught me really off guard and I forgot to hit record, so that was a nice reminder. All right, let's put this out. This might be our last one. It is, yeah, Firefight Right. So that is complete all the Firefighter City challenges. To do those ones, you have to put out these fires and you also rescue cats. So that is another one of those done. Okay, so I have cleared up a huge part of all the districts now. We're on 91.8%. I still have a few gold bricks, a few disguises, a bit of everything still to clean up. But I thought it was kind of time to go for some of the miscellaneous trophies. Uh, there's only like five or six I have remaining. The first one is to use Rex, which is this character. And we have to ride a lawnmower using him. And this lady here has a lawnmower and I'm going to try and intercept her. Here we go. Ah, pull the lawnmower over. That's our first one. Okay, so next up we have to car surf for 30 seconds. This one should be pretty easy. If I just stand on top of this car, we wait 30 seconds and the trophy will pop. Come on! There it is. Steel Surfer. Car Surf for 30 seconds. Oh, wait. Is this what I want? Has that got a passenger? It does. Okay, so for this next trophy, I need to get in a taxi cab with a passenger. And I need to do 10, like, stunt ramps. I'll just show you what a stunt ramp is very quickly. There's one behind me here. So when you kind of go up to these areas, it sort of makes you go fast and triggers a jump. Just like that. I need to do that 10 times with a passenger in the back. So I'll be with you in a couple of minutes when it pops. And there will be a third one right here as well. And there we go. We get it. Wacky taxi. Use 10 stump ramps in a taxi with a passenger. Nice. The miscellaneous ones are really easy in LEGO games. They always are. Okay, so for this next trophy, I just need to slide down the entirety of this tower. So I believe if I get to like a certain point and sort of just jump on here. There we go. It will trigger this slide animation. We got to slide all the way down. It's going to take a moment, so I'll just speed it up. Okay, there we go. At the bottom, Fusilini twist. Slide down the handrail from the top of Fresco's Fusilini tower. Very nice. One more miscellaneous trophy to go, and then we can finish with the cleanup for the game. Ba -ba 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 Okay, so for the last miscellaneous trophy, we need to ride on four fairground rides. I've already definitely done one of them because you get a token for doing it. But they're basically these ones. There are four in total. So I'm going to just ride the remaining three and the trophy will pop. I actually don't know how to start riding on it. Oh, it's here. Okay. Yeah, so we just... We'll just do the ride and we'll wait for the trophy. Okay, so this should be our last fairground ride. And when we ride this... We pop the trophy, fair's fair. So that is our last miscellaneous trophy done. I am now gonna just sit and grind through all of the remaining collectibles and challenges that I need. You'll probably just have like a little montage of the trophies and I will be back with you when we get towards the 100%. So I just made my way through the remaining collectibles left on the map. There are a load of trophies tied to this. Basically, some of the stuff that you have to complete involve different types of challenges. They could be really simple things like putting out a fire like we saw earlier, or you need to complete like a time trial free run. So I'm going to go through the list of trophies that I earned during this section. I collected all five of these secret police shields. I completed all the free run time trials. Finished my last construction challenge. Then all the robber challenges and the astronaut challenges, 
then the minor challenges, the farmer challenges, completed my last time trial, built my last super build, and finally arrested the last piece of criminal scum in the city. Okay, so I figured out. So basically, it turns out I was missing a miscellaneous trophy. It wasn't on the PSM profiles trophy guide for some reason, but I have figured it out. Basically, what you need to do is use disguises on all eight of your character slots. So basically, all around here, I need to make sure that I have like customized characters, basically. So I'm pretty sure if I go from each one and just hit squat triangle to use it it will add it into my character slots and once we have all eight of these on the trophy should pop once i've done that then we're basically at 100 i just need to buy the last couple of characters and we have got ourselves a platinum trophy which is amazing so yeah i just want to say thank you guys for watching the video so far it's been amazing and there we go we get it building model citizens so play with eight disguise slots customized at the same time that's awesome. Also, I want to look at the uh, the mining one because this dude um this dude looks like he gets freaky on the weekends. My God, is this the last one? Okay, this is the last one then. So if we buy this bike, that is everything purchased, right? There we go. We got it. That's the trophy. So super computer achieve one hundred percent completion. And that will mean that we get ourselves Coppletionist. That's such a dumb trophy name. There we go. Unlock all trophies. I like the artwork for that. That's really cool. I like when games put effort into their platinums. But there we go. That is the platinum trophy for Lego City Undercover. Amazing. Honestly, the collectibles kind of sucked. But apart from that, I, I really enjoyed this game. It's a super underrated Lego game. And if you haven't played it and you're kind of looking to maybe find a new Lego game, I'd recommend this one. I'd give it a go. It's genuinely really good. This seems like a nice place to wrap the video up, doesn't it? Thank you so much for watching today. Really appreciate all the support on all the content and all the recent videos. If you are new, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot. If you want to like the video, comment and stuff, the engagement, it, it does help grow my channel. So I'd appreciate that if you can, if you want to. Yeah, it'd be amazing. I'm excited for the future as well. We've got a few good uploads coming soon. Uh, I can't specify exactly which games, but I kind of have my schedule sort of mapped out for the next couple of months. But I'm always open to game suggestions. So if you want to comment some down below, please do. It helps me out a ton because I always struggle to find new games to play. And yeah, that's going to be it from me. Thank you so much for watching today. Once again, really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out. Bye-bye.